Officials in Brevard County have declared a state of emergency. Brevard is also included in the list of over 50 counties currently under a state of emergency declared by Governor Ron DeSantis. Channel 9's Giovanni Diaz is in Cape Canaveral this morning. And Gio, the county is expected to be the last one to deal with the storm. But regardless, people are still getting ready. Yes, Alexa, good morning to you, and that's because Milton can bring a lot of rain and wind to this area, and that means especially flooding because we're so close here to the ocean. Now, because of that flooding concern, there are four sandbag distribution locations open across the cities of Melbourne, Palm Bay, Merritt Island, and Titusville. Those sandbag locations will be open today at 8 o'clock and will close at 6 p.m., but that closing time could change based on the weather. Each resident can take up to 10 sandbags, and county workers will be there to help them with that distribution. Also, the sheriff's office will have supervised inmate crews on site to fill up and load up those bags there. Residents we spoke with yesterday say they are watching closely as Hurricane Milton approaches the west coast of Florida. Take a listen. And, you know, having been through enough hurricanes in my life here in Florida, I, I don't want to take any chances at all. I mean, the other coast has uh, storm surge to worry about, which thankfully we don't. But, uh, but everything else that comes along with the hurricane is sure, uh, sure coming our way. As far as schools go, we are seeing some closures today at 2 p.m. They will remain closed at least until close until at least Thursday, but that could change also based on the impacts that we will see here in Brevard County. Also, the Melbourne International Airport is expected to close tomorrow at 2 p.m. and we and we will only reopen when it's safe to do so. Reporting live in Brevard County this morning, I'm Giovanni Diaz, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.